Hello, in the next edition of It's About Money, we'll be talking with Christine and Paul Malbo and their managed and owned rental properties for homestays. And this is for Airbnbs and VBROs as alternatives to hotels. Join us in the next edition of It's About Money. Hello and welcome to another edition of It's About Money. I'm Nanette Nopan and thank you for joining us. When looking for a place to stay on vacation, travelers are increasingly looking at Airbnb and VRBO as alternative to hotels. Today I'm joined by Christine and Paul Nampo, who will share some insight about what it's like to host one of these rental homestays. So Christine and Paul, thank you and welcome to our show. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Yeah, very exciting. You know, you have a wonderful place, and I'm excited to, for you to talk about it and and just the general homestay business. Tell us about the process of setting up a rental homestay on websites such as Airbnb, VBRO. What is that like to hook up your place to these kinds of uh, websites for uh, be able to get the word out? I let Christine take care of all those complicated <laughs> things to, for the most part, but I know it, she knows how to it do it. Was, Airbnb is who we're using right now, although we are going to be merging with VRBO. Um, they make it so easy. All you have to do is follow their template, and they actually give you um, guides to help you set everything up. So it was actually very simple to do. Um, you have to photograph your place, and uh, they give you plenty of uh room for a lot of photos and it's easy to navigate uh taking them down and adding photos but um but anyway vrbo and airbnb really they they make it so easy to keep track of everything that um you know it's it's anybody could do it um, but what we did do uh nanette is before we decided to rent the whole place out. We wanted to see if really what this story was with how much money we needed to bring in and um, and if the cottage was, cottage was able to generate that kind of money to support it. And uh, we sat down with our accountant who really laid out uh, a whole plan for us, how much we needed to make every uh, every month and then he broke it down to uh, weekdays and weekends, which are different prices. And he helped us figure out our price point of how much to spend uh, or how much to charge. And um, that that was a uh, that was a huge help. Sure. Because well, it is very seasonal too for yes. the most part because you're really only busy June, July, August. You could rent it almost every day, but obviously, you know. January, not so many people want to visit. So does New York <laughs> no, um, because it's so cold. It's cold. Um, so we really took that into consideration as well, right. knowing that most of the year it's not going to be rented because of the nature of the location. Mm -hmm. Got it. Which is not the case for a lot of locations, you know, or throughout the country in warmer climates, perhaps. Yes. Right. Sure. Sure. Yeah. So, so when you're uh, reviewing, when your account reviewed the price points for um, the charge that you have. It is to sustain the place all the months that you're not renting it. Right? Absolutely, yes. because we, you do really have to keep it warm in the winter, and you know we don't shut the place down a hundred percent at all. Um, so it's your costs are going year round, and you need to be able to generate enough money for uh, renovations. So yeah. every year, you know, you put money back into it, and um, you know we're working towards a new roof. Big, big big things, you know, that cost a lot of money. So, but um, what we did, you know, I know it's for a lot of people that do this. This is a financial thing. This is very personal for us. This was my mother's and father's home. And uh, they bought the house in 1963. Yeah, early 60s. Yeah, I think 63, it was 65, 65 for $1,000. Mm. Uh, it was a log cabin with, with, uh, <laughs> with, the, with well water <laughs> and and uh an outhouse and i mean it was pretty it was like camping and then through the years my parents renovated it and rebuilt 
a, a, an actual house in um, in, 19, in 1992. 92, right. They, they rebuilt the house, an actual house. So um, it has so many memories and it's morphed into this thing. But the thing that's special about this piece of property is that during the summer, you could sit on the beach and you could watch the sun rise and set without getting up. Mm -hmm. And I've never seen that over the water any place else. So it sticks really far out into the lake. And um, the whole area has got all this history. They call it Bootleggers Point because during Prohibition, it, it was it, because it stuck out so far into the lake, it was one of the closest areas from Canada to come across and bring Canadian whiskey. My father kept looking for a <laughs> charge of sure. Canadian whiskey, never found any. But um, there's a shipwreck right in front of the house. You know, there's there's uh, there's all kinds of uh, apple orchards and cherry orchards. And, you know, it's really a magical place. So. And now we use it as a place to display our artwork too. Right. As an added thing for people, the guests that are staying there, we try to uh, put place pieces of artwork throughout the property as a nice little thing for people to see. Yeah. Sure. It's enjoyable that way. So th those are extras. And then, so when someone's setting up uh, um, a, a rental homestay, you have to provide the kitchen materials, equipment, and uh, linens, yes. and Right. Like sure. yeah. yeah, a lot, a lot of, a lot of places um, don't charge a cleaning fee, and um, we do. Um, but when people don't charge a cleaning fee, that means you're bringing all of your linens, you're bringing all of your cleaning supplies, all of your spices, all of your, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Which, if you're coming from a long way, it's a, it's a real bummer to do. Or if you're flying in, it's, it's yeah. difficult. So we bypass all of that. We make sure that the house is completely equipped with everything you need from olive oil to shampoo to yeah, everything, everything, everything yeah. that you would need in, in a house. So you're not running out. Um, it, it's meant to be a place where it's, I'd like to say it's quiet, but it's not because nature is so loud. You wouldn't believe the birds Oh yeah, yeah. The yeah. roar Sometimes of the water. The waves, yeah, yeah. yeah it, it's it is peaceful though. It is incredibly peaceful. So we we try to make it as an escape for people, and, and have this experience where they're surrounded by nature and artwork. And um, we have 15 acres right across uh, the at the end of our driveway, and Paul uh, has been clearing the land. Paul Bunyan has <laughs> been clearing the land. And he, we've been mowing these walking paths, walking trails. And, um, you know, there's an osprey nest right there. You know, you, there's deer that come out between four and five. They come out dinner. That's uh, it, their dinner hour. They come out to play. And you see all these. I mean, we just got oh, video. Of, everything. It's like it's five up. buck, you know, just prancing around in the in the field across from us. So to create another little experience, people could stay there, and then they could, in the evening they could take a nice walk throughout the field mm -hmm. on a nice mowed trail. Yeah, it's it's a meadow. It's it's in all wildflowers. It's pretty. Oh, that's really great. It's, it's, a of, it's a work in process too. It's going to take us years before we really get to a point where it's like, wow, this is really nice, yeah. you know. So, it, but you have to start somewhere. <laughs> And that's what we're doing. You know, we've started and now every year it'll be improved on. Yeah. And that gives people a reason to come back too, because I think you can realize you realize that it's a work in process. And next year when you stay, it's going to be different. Yeah. Which is not that invites the guests to repeat and come back Absolutely. and enjoy the space. Absolutely. Right? So you talked about you have to start somewhere. Is that so describe for us like how it got started in terms of Hosting. I mean, those are the dominant sites right now for homestays, yeah. right? And so many people would use that. It's just kind of like saying Kleenex, right? Or right. Xerox from way back when. It's just associated with one, with that a type of business and the business of homestay. So how did you, um, do you still have to market your place? How, how do you bring people to the site to say, oh, yeah, this is a place I want to check out, right? 
Christine's pretty good about promoting it with her friends and like on Facebook and word of mouth, I think, you know, she, yeah, you know, um, and maybe all, all, all you need is for people to show up once and then they talk about it. It, it really is the power of word of, 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 you know, this experience. They walk in and there's, first of all, I make sure that like I find out if it's somebody's birthday. If it's somebody's birthday, then I make sure I leave a little cake or I bake brownies. So if they walk in and it smells like brownies or I leave some kind of charcuterie board, I try to make them feel incredibly comfortable. And the, the, that's the difference too, is that um, it's, it's not um, uh, it's like you can come in with your shoes and, or, or put your feet up on the couch or, you know, you, you could, um, it's casual. It's very casual. Um, some of the Airbnbs, uh, you see people with all these beautiful white couches and uh, that's just a nightmare. I don't know why they <laughs> think of doing that. Um, so, um, we try to make it a very comfortable atmosphere. So it's not she, she, it's casual and artistic so there's artwork everywhere paintings everywhere everything has a story yeah. so, so what you're basically saying is so that uh people can talk about it just make it a little bit more unique yeah it, yes, it is uniqueness is your talent yes yeah hopefully so that right. word of mouth yeah. is our a little bit of our advertising too but you donate yeah. that you know sometimes you will donate a, a visit yeah. at some for a charity and hopefully that's another way of promoting it and getting people to visit, yeah. um, not through Airbnb or VRBO, but yeah. just other ways like that. But it, we may set up a website at some point just to promote the property that way too. Yeah, it's it, it's Instagram really that works, you know. But I will say this, it's all about five-star reviews. Yeah. And um, we've gotten every, every single person that stayed there has left us a five-star review. And that's because we make sure that we go out of, like nothing is uh, talked about, you know, if a plug isn't working, we want you to know this plug isn't working. Or, you know, if there's, we keep, we try to be upfront. Very good communication. Yes, about absolutely everything that, that, that is there, you know, from the directions, how to get there, to um, how to use the press pot, coffee pot. You know, whatever they need, we're there. So basically, you're trying to remove the friction that happens, just like the way our phones are. You just click, click, click. And if you don't have those friction situations, it's just easier to have a better stay. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah, terrific. That's great. So um, in having a listing on these sites, is, is that time consuming to maintain or pretty much easy to, like you said, it's a template and it's easy to set up, but how, how about ma maintaining the site? How do you get, do you get notified by email that someone is selecting a date and made a reservation? Kind of walk us through that. Like if someone, I, really we want the right. audience to know about what it's to do. No, it's a lot of, lot. all of a sudden you can get a an email and Christine will tell you like, and someone wants to stay tomorrow. So you have to be ready for that all the time, but she knows. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, they they make it so easy. You know, you get a notification saying, you know, Nanette wants to rent the cottage from this for this period, and then um, I go through and I check their ratings. So if they got a poor review somewhere, I'm, I know that it's protecting me. I'll read through their reviews to make sure that. You know, it's not a bunch of rowdy kids or um, that's the other thing that we figured out. If it's a certain price point, um, we're getting older people and that's what we want. We want older people that want quiet. Um, we do have a, like there is one family that's been, been gone twice now that has their family picnics there, which is great. You know, we 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 love that. That's that's fine. But they don't stay overnight. That's that's the other thing is that the you guess, know, the guests the guests are we try to keep um, there's only three bedrooms there so we try to make sure that you know it's it's not 20 people lying sleeping on the floor and there's you know there's a septic system it's so does New York you know it's a septic system so you you're always 
you know, trying to keep that part on, under control. But um, but uh, Airbnb actually makes it pretty easy. And what we're we're trying to do is every season, the beginning of every season and the end of every season, we go through, look at all the photographs that need to change, which we we've just gotten the rugs, so we're changing we're changing the, those photographs. Um, everything needs to be updated and and it gives you time to refresh everything. So people that have already stayed that that maybe possibly want to stay again, they're looking, they go back and they look, oh look, they like we made a, a fireplace um, rack. You can tell. A log rack a log that rack. has like a the uh, sound of silence lyrics we cut into yes. this. So just different unique things that yeah. that we need to put onto the uh, Airbnb site. Right. Right. But sure. as we change, as different pieces change in the yard, you know, we need to update that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really nice. It's like being in living in a, inside a museum of art. <laughs> you know, it, it's and really great. Always, they do make it. They make it easy, but the place is always has to be ready because you never know when someone may want to stay. Yeah. So you, you really always have to have it ready to go. Right. Um, so, so then as owners, you've got to make sure that you're always cleaning and keeping up the property, answering questions, being ready when people have... That's a lot. That's yeah. to me, it's like the Airbnb makes it very easy for a lot of things, but you always have to be ready. You know, if someone wanted to stay the first week in December and you get a snowstorm, you have to make sure the driveway is plowed. You have to make sure the sidewalk is shoveled. There's so many things that, yeah. and you may be busy doing something else. So, I mean, and you, you could get a prop, you know, it doesn't make sense to have a, someone else paying someone else to do that. So you're really always responsible for taking care of a lot of things yourself. Yeah. Being ready to, you always have to be ready to take care of whatever little thing comes along to make the visit, the stay for these people as good as possible. The Airbnb tells you to hire other people to clean the house, to do the maintenance, to do all those things. And we, that's the only thing that I would say that we disagreed on because nobody can set the house like I can. I know what I, I want to do and I can't, I don't want to have to be on the phone, to, you know, how, did you do this or do that? Or I have to worry about them showing up or any of that. So we, t we take this very personal. So. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's great. Do you ever have a time where people like didn't do, um, made it a little more difficult to recover from their stay, <laughs> or have you had good luck because of the way you vet your? It's pretty, yeah. pretty, everyone is very respectful. I, I would say. Yeah. Ninety nine percent, you know, little things might be, but really nothing. Yeah. Thank God, knock on wood, because yeah. you would hate to have some. You'd hate to have someone maybe get hurt. You know, get hurt. Someone. You know, no, everyone's been good. It's yeah. like you, you, there's been no bad experiences. Yeah, I think because it is like going into somebody's home. I mean, it's going into an artist's home. I mean, we're artists. There's, there's, there's portraits of you know my daughter in there. Uh, they're beautiful portraits, but they're paintings. Um, I think people realize that, and they, 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 they're enjoying it. And I, I, I don't think we've ever really, no. only once, and actually it was kind of funny, this one family came and they had a little boy and they wanted to show him all the artwork. And you could see, you you know that they went around in, to every single place. You, you know it because I had chalk for him to, I had uh, an area for him to make some chalk art. And he got the chalk and he chalked on <laughs> absolutely everything <laughs> that he saw. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm an artist, too, but it was chalk, so it was no big deal. It was actually kind of funny. You could tell this kid probably was so proud of himself. His, his parents probably looked one way and he was <laughs> the art. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's yeah. funny. And then you have some people who stay who take your pots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a good time. I was Hello. saying there, my family and I, we just uh, got mixed up with some dishes that we oh, ended up taking yeah. one dish. I have to return that to you yet. <laughs> it's good. Well, what's nice is it allows us to have, if the place can pay for itself, it makes it so much easier for us to own the place, right? Yeah. 
I mean, being artists, we're, you know, limited on our, you know, a lot of things as far as financially, but to, we love having the property and to have the property be able to pay for itself makes all the difference in the world. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Money. I think, I guess that's the idea behind it, right? If you have a place that you're willing to have other people stay and you make yourself competitive enough so that you have the cash flow, then sure. you can enjoy the property. Uh, through uh, have being, a, being able to rent it for most of the time. So oh, yeah. that's great. Mm -hmm. So what advice would you give to future hosts that are, who are looking to rent out their properties to supplement income and, and you know, to subsidize owning a property? Um, any advice that you would offer? Like you talk about using those two different uh, sites to log in and using them as template, but getting good photographs perhaps? Yeah, the photos. So talk you to your accountant, figure out what that number is. And if you're if you're willing to, you know, you gotta, some people are charge a lot of money and it's like you people get there and they're kind of disappointed. If you're going to charge, you know, it'd be one of the more expensive places. You've got to make sure that what you're giving them is worth the they're they're not just getting a bed, they're getting an ex experience. So I would say that that's important, and and you I set up an LLC. Oh yeah, you set up an LLC. You go through that whole process, and um, but you know you get got to make sure you've got good insurance. Yeah. Um, and uh, and I I say it's all about communication with these people that are coming. So um, yeah, sure. Yeah, you really want right. to be you want to communicate very well quickly to people don't want to wait a day and a half for a response you know cause you're making plans so you got to be on top of communication yeah and i and and offer a nice experience experience and how i do it is as i'm walking out i stop i turn around and i look and i say to myself this is what they're seeing for the first time what is that that they're seeing and i try to make it comfortable and magical we have a lot of lighting that paul made so the light and in, in the living room at night is really beautiful and um i i try to make it so that they 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 think wow this is this is really special so um you know you got to really make sure that you're giving people something besides a bed because they could go to a hotel and be honest, I think with your photography, be honest, don't misrepresent what you're selling, you know, with the, you know, if you're selling, you know, whatever right. the place is, right. just be honest with your photography, yeah, it's, don't make it look bad, you know, make it look as good as, as it is, Right. but don't be deceptive, you know, as far as, you know, so you people are feel like, all right, this is what, you know, when they walk in, this is really what I expected, you know, or this is beyond my expectations. It's it's it's, better it's, it's right. finding the right people too because sometimes the the um, people are looking for they want to go out they could go to Soda's Point and they go to dinner and go to restaurants and stuff there are there it's not that far away but but it's better if once that they, they find that once they come there they don't want to leave so mm -hmm. being able to be prepared to, I would tell people you know make sure that. People know where to get groceries, and I always tell people if they want if they want to use Instacart, which I've had a few, they buy all the groceries, I pick them up, and I stock the refrigerator. So when they come there, everything's ready. Oh, there you That's go. That's nice. That's great. And then the extra touch, like you said, if they're celebrating something, you leave something, a charcuterie board or whatever, but that makes it extra special. Right. And you're absolutely right. You know, Americans today, our economy, this is fall of 2023, the economy is still very strong, but the amount of things we buy has gone down. Uh, but the amount of experiences that we're looking for has really been wider and deeper. And people are really looking for that as opposed to gathering more things, you know. So, so that's great. Well, kudos to you for um, being able to do this. Now, does it make it hard to go away for vacation or anything like that? Or running the place. Christine just you... likes to work in the studio, <laughs> so she doesn't really like to vacation. Um, no. He's we love going health. out there. Yeah. We go out there every chance we get. If there's <laughs> if there's three days in September yeah. where no one's renting it, Christine will be like, 
we're staying up yeah. in sodas. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we, we take advantage of it as yeah. much as possible. We do. We do have our daughter that really, um, she helps. She, she plays backup. She's, yeah. she's actually initially the person that people contact and, um, she's much more, uh, I'm much more forgiving of everybody. Um, where she's not, <laughs> she's no, like, like, they want a dog, forget it. They're not coming. You know, I'm, like, oh, it's just a little dog. No, they're not coming. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I mean, like, if we were, if me and Christine happened to be out, out of town, Gabby's our backup. You know, yeah. Gabby will be like, I'll go out and clean. Yeah. I'll make it nice for, you know, so it, it is nice having, you know, it takes a lot to make it all work. Right. Um, yes. Oh, good. Well, that's great. It's nice. Sounds like it's a family uh, situation and it, you make it work. You, you help your um, your make give your guests the best experience that they can have, and then they speak uh, volumes or, and refer their friends and so on. So yeah, that's great, and uh, all the best. I mean, you guys are doing a phenomenal job, and your place looks wonderful. We'll post some photographs if you send it, and we can post it on the website on the show here so people can see. But uh, congratulations and wishing you the very best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much for having us. Love oh, you. it's our pleasure. Thank you again. Have a good one. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. And thank you, our guests, for joining us. It's about money. I'm Nanette Nokon. Thank you for joining us. Until next time.